It's been a busy couple days in politics with President Joe Biden dropping out of the 2024 presidential race and endorsing his vice president Kamala Harris. I'm Fox 13 News reporter Maithili Gubi and I speak to Utahns about what this announcement means to them. It's not so much about red or blue, it's more about democracy and our basic rights you know, at stake. Lavanya Mahate is a South Asian entrepreneur. She owns Saffron Valley and Bick's Bakery and Cafe, eateries with a couple locations across the Salt Lake Valley. She was at the private fundraiser for Vice President Kamala Harris, hosted in Park City last month. And everybody was so excited to just be there to support her and uh, to hear her speak about her vision for the future. After a busy few days in politics, I went to Sugar House Park to speak with people about how President Joe Biden dropping out of the presidential race might impact them. I wasn't over the moon about Biden as a candidate personally. I am a Democrat, but um, I didn't agree with his policy in the Middle East. Biden endorsed Kamala Harris to be the Democratic nominee, and the party is rallying behind her as well. I would be really excited to see women in office, even if our policy ideals don't totally align. I think it's just time for that to happen. Lavanya tells me that this election means a lot to her now. Great sense of relief and uh, renewal of hope and excitement for sure. With more engagement since the announcement that Harris was in the running. Our phone has been going off the hook today. Uh, we've had people come in, uh, pick up signs, people coming in saying, how can I volunteer? How can I make a change here in Utah? People are just so enthused about VP Harris. In just 24 hours since the endorsement for Kamala Harris, the Utah Democratic Party tells me they've seen an influx in first time donations. They've also heard from more people who weren't previously Democrats, but want to be involved in the process now. Representative Angela Romero is a delegate to the Democratic National Convention from Utah, who was endorsing Harris. I've been a big supporter and fan for a long time and have met with her on several occasions to address reproductive issues and issues that are really important to me and many Utahns. Lavanya hopes that this momentum is just the beginning. Just her being uh, a female of South Asian descent and black descent to break through all these barriers and to rise to such a prominent position is so empowering. In Salt Lake City, I am Maithili Gubi, Fox 13 News, Utah.